Well, Midway families rise and shine. It's your first day of school. Well, at least start getting up and getting ready for school <laughs> because we have to fill you in on some meal changes that could impact your children and grandchildren. So joining us live from Midway Middle School is Texas Today reporter Meredith Haas, who will explain whether you need to pack your kids lunchbox this morning. Midway ISD is back to school this morning and I have to say the rain has made it pretty cool outside. So I think the kids are going to be going back with uh, a great smile on their face and a good day to go back, right? So we're going to be talking about lunches as well. That is important to know. You're not going to be able to receive free lunches that was provided um, through it was a federal uh, service when COVID hit, but now you have to send in an application in order to receive those free lunches from Midway ISD. So they said in the statement that as a result, Midway ISD has to return to charging uh, school meals and offering free and reduced price meals based on student eligibility. So we're wondering what is that eligibility? Well, household income, it has to be at or below um, income, income eligibility levels and those individuals that are file, fi filling out the application will need to provide um, some information. Name of household uh, members and the amount, frequency, and source of current income to each household member. And there is one application per household. We're also talking about Midway ISD bringing their new wing in, their CTE building. It's going to allow a lot of new opportunities for high schoolers that are just coming into the school year or leaving um, in their senior year. They're going to get to go out with a bang. They're going to be offered many different classes, including robotics classes. They're going to get to fly drones. They're going to get to sew. They're going to get to be in a classroom that looks like a hospital. They're going to have so many options at the new CTE building at Midway High School. So let's take a look at what one of the administrators has to say. We've had kids get to walk through the building already and uh, they, they light up just as much as I do and, and the teachers do and it's been a very, very rewarding experience just to see the, their eyes as they, as they get excited. Now we know that safety is also top of mind this morning as it is with every district in our region. So coming up at 6, at six we are going to talk about safety and what Midway ISD is putting in place to keep your children safe when they come back for that first day of school and for the rest of the school year. So we'll have more on that at 6 o'clock. Back to you in the studio.